Jeff the Rabble Rouser himself, and here we are in Gloucester Township, New Jersey. We're back where the guy stole my car, uh, and a lot is going on with that, but we're not here for that. We are going to be showing up tonight at the council meeting at 730. Uh, we're going to be taking some pieces of paper, actually. I'm not even going to take flyers. I'm just going to take pieces of paper and stick it on cars out there, because let's take a listen to what Council President Orlando Mercado had to say about a, um, uh email, basically, that, that they got. And we'll look at the email while uh, Councilman Mercado is talking about it. But I will see you tonight, Councilman Mercado. And this is going to be a very interesting evening, I can assure you, folks. Let's take a listen. Uh, the clergy were involved, and we talked about a quick search if you do it on a calendar. So um, one of the things I think maybe going forward, our last, we have four dancing? Yes. Our fourth one. <clears throat> this is from Giselle Brown. Hello, this past Monday, I attended the swearing-in ceremony of the police officers. I was there to, support, there to support a family threat. This was a wonderful event, and I was touched by the words that the priest had in his prayer regarding 9-11. After the event, I left the building. There was something left on my car. It was a flyer regarding people running for council. And then on the flip side, I had the face of councilmen with negative things to say about it. I'm very disappointed in those that did this. I understand that you have to get your message out, but this was not the time and place for it. Show some decency. This was a beautiful ceremony and a day to come together, and I had to come out and see this trash on my car and other cars and in all places the township building. I need to feel safe when I come to a township event. I did not feel safe having someone put things on my vehicle during a ceremony. I would ask that the mayor and council and police review security policies for the township building and the parking lot, and make sure that all residents do not have to come out and see this trash on their cars. Uh, there's a few people that received some things on their cars that evening. I gave that, I gave mine back to the owner of that car, so uh, we passed it out. So um, I asked the chief that maybe uh, when there are events that out there, that maybe we have our special officers go through the parking lot and just make sure that people are not. Doing they shouldn't be doing. So, yes. Now, did you hear that, folks? I mean, listen, I am a First Amendment activist. That's what I do. So the First Amendment is very important to me. Flyering of, of cars, political flyering especially, flyering of, of being able to put it, uh, you know, hand out your literature, uh, be able to stand in front of buildings and give your literature, be able to record in public. All these things are very important. These things are, are what keeps us from tyranny, keeps us from one-party rule. Okay, and the one party rule has ruled in Camden County for far too long. Okay, now that's, that being said, um, this Giselle Brown, let's take a look at this email that was sent by Giselle Brown. And if you see the interesting thing about this email, if we look at the top here, is that Giselle Brown, her email address is redacted. Now, the redaction of the email address is not allowed. You're not allowed to just redact the email addresses, even though a lot of clerks do to hide a lot of things, to hide uh, other people you can contact, to, to get in contact with them and find out why they redacted other portions of the email, things like that. Um, but in this case, they just redacted the entire email address, but left the name. Now, the person that made the open request actually uh, sent back an email asking why they redacted this. Uh, they said that the person that sent this email in requested that their uh, information be uh, concealed. Now, that being said, I don't care if you request it or not. You cannot conceal the sender or receiver of emails in a public database such as this. This is the clerk of Gloucester Township. You sent your email to the clerk of Gloucester Township. Too bad. Uh, use a burner email if you don't want your real email used. Or use a burner name. Ah, a burner name. That brings me to Giselle Brown. Now, what I like to do is find out who it is that these people are so I can find out what it is that they want, where they live, all these other things, right? So when you do a search and been verified for Giselle Brown, spelled J-I-S-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, Brown, just like they spelled it in the email, there is no Giselle Browns living in New Jersey. That's right. Texas, New York, Maryland, Minnesota, Virginia, and North Carolina. But not one Giselle Brown lives in New Jersey. So the question tonight for Mr. Orlando Mercado is where, oh, where is Giselle Brown from? Where did this email come from? Uh, 
I don't know. I can't find a Giselle Brown. I would like to get the email address so we could search the email address to find out who she is and where she come, came from and why she felt so threatened by a flyer with your picture on it. Um, I would say that if Giselle didn't feel threatened, maybe somebody else did, Mr. Mercado, and um, you maybe created Giselle Brown, and that's why we can't get the email address for it. I don't know. I mean, I would like to know. So would the people, Mr. Mercado. And tonight, I'm going to be coming there and making a challenge to the Gloucester Township uh, Police and to the Township Council and the mayor to arrest me for flyering out front of the building. See you tonight.